Hello, welcome in this new video. So today I wanted to do a video that talks about uh, my own spiritual practice and uh, especially tarot. So we're going to talk about tarot because tarot is such a huge part of my practice and it's just not possible that I don't do a video about it, that I don't mention it, that I don't show you my practice. So in this video, I'm going to show you how my practice looks like right now, um, this last day, this last week, because this is a, a work in progress. I mean, I've practiced tarot since I'm a child, since I was a child, and um, it has been really, there has been time where I've, uh, I just want to, <laughs> what I want to say is that it's a practice that is always evolving for me. And the, the way that I practice tarot now, that I use tarot now, is very different than maybe, oh, I was practicing it one month before. It's always changing. So it's possible that I'm going to do more videos about this, especially if you are interested and if you want to know more about my practice. So I'm going to show you um, three tarot decks that I have used the most these last weeks. And I'm going to show you two other things that I do um, with my tarot practice. So I'm going to move the camera um, to show you the things. Okay. So here to start, I'm going to show you um, one of my practice with tarot, which is um, journaling. And this is something I have done now for a few months. And I actually started uh, with just um, some <laughs> bit of paper and just writing the important things of my tarot um, readings. And um, I ended up buying a notebook here that you see here. So I ended up buying this notebook to have something uh, more easy to use that I can find easily and that feels more respectful for the reading. So here it is. So there's not so much pages used now because I have done this, I, I bought uh, the notebook some months ago only and the, the tarot spread that I use, that I have been doing the most are actually um, monthly spread, not only but mostly monthly spread when I want to know something about the next month or you know. So I just um, I just write it. I just write the title, you know, the, uh, the title is, uh, when I did the reading and, um, some of it is written in English. Some of it is writing, uh, I write it in French, depends of my mood. Um, so <laughs> it's my personal journal, so it really doesn't matter. And so I write um, the different uh, spread that I've been using and the messages I've been receiving. And this is very personal. That is this personal stuff that I do for me. It is not, um, it is not for the reading that I do for other people. I actually have something else for other people. Like uh, I have like a note notebook or just just bits of papers and I just write long things even for collective things it tends to be like that but it's just writing I know you're gonna see on a uh, YouTube in some people that are that do their the, the journal the tell journal they are very creative and they, they put their they print those images and those things you know it's very much um, like uh, artistic. But this is not the way I function with this. I like to have it simple 
and which is quite funny because I'm an artist. So I usually like to, you know, to paint and to draw and things. But when it is with my tarot practice, I like it simple. Like otherwise, it's kind of distracting in some way. But this is no, this is just my uh, personal way of using it. So if you if you too you have a you journal with your tarot practice, you do as you want. It has to feel good for you. So I feel it is important to to keep notes of uh, your reading if you also practice tarot, because then I, you know, like here, I, I've done a reading for May, and I did it on the 30th of April. And and now we are in the end of May, so I can come back and look what uh, what was right and what I've been working on, and if I found the same cards that have been uh, that have been coming up a lot this month, you know. So it's really interesting. Now another thing that I do is that uh, it's also a notebook that I wrote, that I wrote, <laughs> sorry, I mean that I actually uh, bought at the same time as this one. And you see, it's kind of the same, um, it's the same editor uh, who did the thing. Um, it's, uh, I felt I needed also uh, a place where I could write the tarot spread that I use, and a lot of them are my own uh, spread, my own creation spread. Spread not some of them are also things that have been I have picked up on on internet also, but not that much. But anyway, it's a good thing to have when you want to do some specific things, some specific uh, spread, you have a specific question you want to ask. So I have a few here. There is some spread that I use for you know, the collective reading, the monthly reading, some other for very specific things. There is also other that I've been uh, doing that I have not yet uh, right here I need to I need to do that too but you know it's also it also takes some time to to do those things so yeah it's it's gonna happen someday <laughs> now the deck that have been using the most these last weeks so I'm gonna show you one that I I showed you this one just once um in a short only. And this is the tarot in Wonderland. And this one, you're not gonna see me using it during the full moon and new moon readings for the collective because it's a tarot that I use only for myself. And why I do use this tarot only for myself is because that, that's the reason why I bought it. <laughs> I needed a tarot that that really speaks to me and that feels very personal and this one is doing the job so the tarot in wonderland so it's uh, inspired by alice in wonderland and is through the looking glass and it really wakes up my inner child i feel i feel very connected with the character of alice uh, for many different reasons. Um, so one of them is that um, it is very much, um, oh, you hear it crack, it, it is a bit broken now here. Um, yeah, the reason is that um, if you know a bit about um, Halley through the looking glass, there is a lot of spiritual knowledge that you can learn behind the story. And there is a lot of uh, esoteric um, teachings behind it too. 
and it always feels close to me because also of some some things um, directly personal with my life, and um, and it's also funny because um, my mother wanted to call me Alice, but I ended up call, be called something else. But <laughs> I, I could have been called Alice too. So it feels very personal for me. It feels very much uh, like it really talks to my inner child. And I needed uh, a deck that uh, that I could use only for that, only to speak uh, with my inner child, to feed my inner child, to connect with that part of me. I needed a, a deck that could be both um, wake up the inner child, you know, like I like this card, like the fool. Um, wake up that iron child and at the same time um, so it can be can have some humor and at the same time be serious so this deck is just perfect I really like it this one is one of my favorite card it's a string it's just so beautiful I don't know if you see it well if I can show you better, yes. It's beautiful, right? So I have the card in the right order for the Major Arcana, but then I have them just weird. <laughs> so wait a minute. I need to have them in the right order. Yes. And I'll show you another card that I really, really like. That really speaks to me. I like this one. This is a card of death, but I really like this one. It's really beautiful. But this is not the one that I was thinking. This one is one of my favorites. The Ten Parents. I like this one. Wakes up my inner child. I don't know if there's another one I can show you that really feels like that for me. But this one is cute. This one is cute also. But um, yes, I, I don't know if you are so interested to see the cards. They are very beautiful. And yeah, just I'm going to show you another one, another one that I use very much. And you've seen me using so much. It is the Star Tarot. The box is broken also. Almost all of my box are broken because I've used it so much. I've even had to, to cut it, you know. <laughs> so anyway, that are the cards. This is the second edition. So I have used it a lot. So you see uh, on the side, uh, it's not that beautiful on the edge, but Anyway, it's, in, it's good um, quality, but the cards are very big and my hands are very small. You see, I, I cannot even take it like that. This is not the way I, sh I um, blend my, uh, my cards, so it, it's quite okay. I don't shuffle that way. I have my own way of shuffling. So I really, really like this one, yeah, and I've, I have been using it a lot lately. Sometimes I use it very much, and sometimes I don't use it for some weeks or even months but this one is very magical um, this one really speaks to my soul it really resonates with me <laughs> I, I don't even know how to express this really it's just um, I can really feel the energy through it it really connects me with different um, realities and different aspects of myself. So that is one that I've been using really a lot. And I have, it, I have this one for some years now. So I could show you another one. This is also one that I have used for many years and um, I got it as a gift also 
from my husband. And so this one is a pre-Raphaelite tarot. I don't have the box anymore because because it, it's broken. So I had to draw it. And so I, I did sew a bag for it, just for it. Anyway, so this one, I have been using it quite a lot lately. And this is also a tarot that sometimes I don't use for a very long time. But this is one tarot that um, I really like, even if... How can I say that? Often when I pick this one, we're going to talk about serious stuff. This is the one that um, likes to be, you know, that likes to talk about serious stuff, uh, going deep in the shadow work. And um, this is also one that I use a lot for family stuff. And for the collective also, it's really, yeah, this one is good for many things, but especially deep things. So, I mean, if it was a zodiac sign, it, it would be like a Scorpio. <laughs> so, so that's the idea. And I like the, the images. So it is inspired by the pre raphaelic painters, which I really love. It really talks to me. It's really beautiful. So just wanted to show you that. It's quite hypnotic when you see the cards. Right. So that was all the decks I wanted to show you because that's the one that I've been using the most. Of course, I've been using also also other decks, but um, that are those are the ones that I've been using the most. I don't have so much decks. I mean, comparing to to some people, we really have a lot, but I do have a little collection because I like to buy a tarot deck when I feel that I need specific energy or I need for a specific kind of reading. Um, so yeah, I also have Oracle decks that I can show you maybe some days in another video. But I wanted really to show you the tarot because I'm someone that is mostly using tarot. I also use oracle, but I use mostly tarot and the oracle is mostly to clarify uh, specific things that I would uh, that I would get in the, with the card, you know, with the tarot. So I really like tarot because it's a um, very specific system and, you know, you have the major arcana, and you have the minor arcana, and they tell a story. And this is your story, or the story of the, the people you, you read for. And um, it's mysterious, the way it works. It, it feels quite mysterious, and it's just so fascinating. So, yeah. I think I've been talking a lot so with this I'm gonna say that if you want more of that kind of video tell me in the comments and I see you soon in another video goodbye